All right, so we return to the French Grand Prix, and everyone is wondering, could this be Hamilton's best chance to win a race this year? We'll talk about that shortly, but first, let's have a French Grand Prix preview. We return to the iconic Paul Ricard circuit with probably one of the best trophies of the season. Many people hate it, but I don't think it's that bad. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. What I am not a fan of is those blue and red lines. They just don't look good. I know they're there for a purpose, but I just don't like them. Last year, Max Verstappen won the race after going on a two-stop strategy and Hamilton stayed on a one-stop. We saw the pass for the victory on the last few laps, which created a surprisingly good race in Paul Ricard, something that rarely happens. For the stats of the race, we have 53 laps on Sunday. The circuit length is 3.63 miles with a race distance of 192.42 miles. The lap record is still held by Sebastian Vettel with a time of 132.740 set back in 2019 and it will be interesting to see if anyone can get close to that time this weekend. Now for the Drivers' Championship in first place, we still have Max Verstappen with 208 points, followed by Charles Leclerc with 170 points. It will be interesting to see if Ferrari lets both of their drivers fight since Sainz is pretty much out of the championship now and there's no point of them fighting between each other, but it's Ferrari that we're talking about. In P3, we have Sergio Perez with 150 points. He has lost a massive amount of points over the last few races, but we'll see what he can do this weekend. Let's quickly go over the Constructors' Championship. In first place, we have Red Bull Racing on 359 points, followed by Ferrari in P2 with 303 points, and we have Mercedes in P3 with 237 points. It will be interesting to see if Mercedes can get any closer to the top two since it seems like their engine is completely bulletproof with no reliability issues. So the top story is going into the race weekend. Nick DeVries will be running in FP1 replacing Lewis Hamilton. Of course we have that new rule in 2022 mandating teams to run a rookie driver into Friday practice sessions during the season. Mercedes has also revealed some front wing upgrades that aim to reduce drag and help with straight line speed and cooling. Track limits seem to still be a hot topic this weekend with multiple drivers and teams not happy about the way the FIA handled the issue a few weeks ago in Austria. Okay so can this be Hamilton's best chance to win a race this year? Paul Ricard is one of Mercedes best tracks and they have dominated here and this could possibly be their best chance at a victory. We know that the W13 works better on smooth track surfaces and high speed nature tracks. Although there still hasn't been any running I believe that there's a strong possibility from what we know now that Lewis or George could be fighting for the victory on Sunday. If we are honest, Hamilton probably could have won in Silverstone if he had a better start on the restart and if there wasn't a late safety car. But we won't know the true pace of Mercedes until Saturday or even Sunday. Let's just hope we have a great exciting race weekend because I honestly can't remember the last time we had a good race here at Paul Ricard. The circuit doesn't really produce any good racing, but the race last year gave me some hope. So fingers crossed we see some action this weekend. I will be here sharing content over the weekend. If you enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe i have other videos that you can check out so make sure you click on any of the videos here in the end screen and i will see you soon